this on my first airplane. It was at the World's Fair in 1904. Join my adventure and learn, and learn more things you probably didn't know about me. I would like to tell you about my fun early life, exciting adult life, and my unbelievable accomplishments. I was born July 24, 1897 in Atkin, Kansas. My dad's name was Edwin Earhart. My mom's was Amelia Otis Earhart. And my younger sister's name was Grace Muriel Earhart. I went to the World's Fair when I was young, and I was in love with the roller coasters. When we got home, my uncle, my sister, and I made a mini one. I went on it first, and I was brave because I had cra crashed. I didn't stop off, though. We tried again to make some improvements, and it worked. It was so much fun. I went to Hyde Park High School. I was a good student. After high school, I went to Ogon School. People admired me there. During the holidays, I went to Toronto, Canada to nurse the injured men in the army. After Toronto, I wanted a career since I didn't want to be a housewife. I wanted to fly a plane. So what did I do? I found a girl teacher, Anita, who taught me how to fly in 1921. I had to pay her a dollar per minute. I received my pilot's license in 1921. I got my first plane that I called the Canary. I cut my long hair and I brought and I bought a leather jacket. My plane was small. Nita thought it was too small to be safe. I ignored her. I flew in some air shows. Most of the pilots were boys, so a girl pilot attracted attention. But I didn't want to cause too much attention. But I worked in the shows to earn some money. Nita got married and since then she stopped flying. I found a new teacher named Monte. She had flown in the army and she did stunts in movies. I wanted to set a record in flying. I wanted to be the one to do the impossible. Even when I was down, I was up again. I was curious to see how high I could go, but I never told anyone I planned. I got a tool put in my plane that sees how high I went. In my days, my planes didn't go as high as your techie planes, but mine did go as high as yours. I knew if I went too high, I could pass out. But I took the risk. I had made it to 14,000 feet. That's more than two and a half miles. There was a club for women pilots. We didn't have a name, but then we decided to name it after the amount of women in the club. First, it was named the 86s, then the 97s, and finally the 99s. I became the president of the club. I decided to set a record by flying all around the world. I went with the navigator to plan out where to go and where to stop for fuel. I was almost all around the world when the gas ran out. My last words were, we must be on you but cannot see you. The gas is running low. Have been unable to reach you by radio. We are flying at 1,000 feet. I didn't make it. No one knows where I landed. I died in 1937. In the end, I still had a good but short life. I died at the age of 40. I want you all to know to never stop believing. If I stopped believing when my mini roller coaster didn't work, it never would have worked. I, I am remembered as the first woman to almost fly all around the world. I hope you've learned a lot about my wonderful early life, my interesting adult life, and my awesome accomplishments.